in. Always. I feel like I'm too tall for this. Should I take my heels off? I'm not opposed to that, really, at all. Okay. Thank you, guys. I want you to stand up. I feel like you've been sitting for a long time, listening to everybody speak, and talking about their stories, their situations, donating money, all the causes that you can help. Greatly appreciated, every single one of them. But it's about having fun. I take fun very seriously. So, I also take fundraising very seriously. Um, my name is Shannon Burroughs. I am actually a breast cancer survivor of 11 months. 326 days today, to be exact. I actually had to calculate that. Um, so, how that all came about was, um, I'm a personal trainer, so I'm fit, I'm healthy, I eat well, this that, blah, blah, blah. I don't do physicals, it's just not my thing. I'm like, I'm good. And Mother's Day weekend of last year, um, I started having like really bad anxiety, high blood pressure, it went hand in hand. I was like, why am I having high blood pressure? Why am I having anxiety? This that, blah, blah, blah. Five, six days later into it, and I'm having lunch with my girlfriend down here, and I'm like, something's wrong. Like something is really wrong with me. And I had a doctor on insurance, you know, you have to pick one because that's what your insurance has to do. I've never been. So they said, I'm sorry, I can't take you because um, you have never established a relationship with us. And I said, I'm gonna like stroke out. Like something is really wrong. Like I couldn't breathe. I just had really bad anxiety. So I called my husband and he got me into his doctor and they got me in within 40 minutes. So I went there and they threw me on the EKG table and I was 170 over 130. I, again, I'm a trainer, I'm fit, I'm healthy. What the hell? <laughs> so he says, I'm gonna need you to start worrying about really serious problems. I'm like, I'm gonna need you to start worrying about this serious problem because I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. So he says, when's the last time? I said, I want you to check my hormones, please. Check my hormones, like, you know, I'm currently 46, so I was 45 at the time. Check my hormones, my menopause, premenopause, perimenopause, perimenopause, whatever. Do whatever you need to do, but I don't know what's wrong with me and I can't live like this. And he said, well, when's the last time that you had a mammogram? And I was like, you know, the last time I had a mammogram. I missed one year. And he said, I can run your hormone panel when you have your pap with me. And I said, perfect. My OBGYN died of brain cancer last month, so now let's go. <laughs> so we did that. My hormones came back okay, and I missed one year of a mammogram. One year of a mammogram. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. And so I went and got my mammogram, and they noticed something a little bit fishy. So they made me go back for a more in-depth one, and then a biopsy, and then an MRI. So thankfully my MRI came back clean, my biopsy did not, um, and I got diagnosed with breast cancer. And of course, I'm thinking, how in the hell does that happen? I have no history of cancer in my family whatsoever. None, like not blood related, like married in kind of thing, but no. So um, I was like, okay, so, so now what happens? Like, am I gonna die? They're like, no, I'm like, oh, well then fix the problem, let's go. So that's my sick mentality of just being like, let's go, fix it. I know not everybody's wired the same way I am and I'm okay with that but I'm here to help motivate you, support you in whatever that you may need throughout your journey. So just remember that you always have sisters here no matter what. Um, so I got my diagnosis driving in my car the day before my dad's 75th birthday. With my brother in the car, he had just flown down that morning. We dropped my daughter off at gymnastics. We we're driving down military trail in front of Trinity Church. I'll never forget this day. And the radiologist calls and says, hi, this is Blue. And um, we have your results back from your biopsy and you have breast cancer. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you have breast cancer. I'm like, um, Andrew, can you please take out a pen and paper? Because I don't, what the heck, what? And he, and I had in situ carcinoma in duct, whatever, I, DCIS, right? At the beginning, hormone driven. 90% estrogen, 40% progesterone. Immediately I went to, I had to have IVF to have my daughter. So that's the first thing I could think of. And I was like, okay, I would never take that back. Don't get me wrong. I lost her twin um, because that's just what happened. And I had two more cycles. So I'm thinking that, okay, all these hormones pumped into my body. 
is what causes. So how do I fix this? Nobody's gonna admit it because, you know, big pharma has deep pockets, so here we go. So I thought, okay, well, here I am, now how do we fix this? So I went through all my testing, my recurrence rate came back extremely high, so I said, okay, so now how do I do an oncotype testing? So I did the oncotype testing again, came back really super high, and I said, they're yours. I'm 45, I'm too young, I have way too much to, to do in life and conquer, I'm not dealing with this again. So I had a double mastectomy, and that was September 22nd, which brings me to the 326 days. So I get that diagnosis on July 13th of last year, and I'm not kidding you, within one week, I get a text message from Jay. Jay and I have worked on numerous charities together. He's always the one that calls me when he needs help with silent auction. Shannon, I need help with this. Can you help me? Yep, sure, whatever. I'm like, plug, plug and play, plug and play, plug and play. He texts me, hey, so I just got this great new job with American Cancer Society, and I have this new event coming up called Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. Can you help me out? I was like, I slid it across the table. I was like, um, I didn't know how to say, like, no, I, like, I have breast cancer. That, that was not my thing. I'm not, I'm not that person. I'm always the one giving. Like, I'm always the one being on the charity board to help raise money. So I thought, okay, well, we're gonna make lemonade right now. And I'm gonna raise money right now for something that's way too close to my heart. So, yes, of course I will. So I tell him I got diagnosed. I, it took me hours to respond to him. I said, Jay, I honestly don't know how to tell you this, but I was just diagnosed. I hadn't told anybody. My mom was sitting at the table, my husband was there. We're playing cards, I think, or backgammon. And, um, and he didn't reply to me. And I was like, uh huh? And he said, I didn't, I didn't know how to respond to you with that response, because I wasn't expecting that, naturally. So I said, okay, but that's okay. Like, I'm here, like, I'm good. Like, what do you want to do? Like, I can help you, what do you want to do? We got this. And again, delay, and I was like, hmm? Like, I'm always gung-ho, let's go, let's raise money, let's do this, we got this, we can fight anything. He said, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but everybody I've talked to, like, you're really in for a long haul. I'm like, no, 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 not, no, not me, I'm good. Let's go, let's raise money, we got this. And then I had a double mastectomy, and I was like, you are so right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got this. So, I said, well, what else can I do? What else can I do to raise money? He's like, just start a team, just start a team, I was like, I'm used to running 5Ks, can I run this? He's like, no, it's not about a run, it's a walk. It's the same thing like, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, you gotta pace yourself, right? Just like with life. So I said, okay, we're gonna join a team, we're gonna make a team, and it's gonna be called Team Smile with Shannon, because that was my fitness tagline of Team Smile with Shannon, changing the world one smile at a time. That's my bracelet. Smile stands for simply making individual lifestyle enhancements. That guy up there had a way bigger picture and purpose for me. So I decided to start a team, and I was balls to the wall of let me make sure that we can have the most people there and raise the most money. A, because I wanted to support breast cancer, and B, I wanted to get more people involved. Because teamwork makes the dream work, right? So we're all here for one purpose, for one reason, and that's to raise awareness, to raise money, and I have not, even, I wrote this today, and I haven't even flipped the page. <laughs> this is all right for my heart. So, um, when you become a team leader, uh, you get to be called like a pace setter. So raise your hand if you were ever a brownie or a Girl Scout, or a Cub Scout, right? Remember how you used to get like those little stashes and you could get like little badges on here? That's what it was like being a pace setter. It was like every time you hit like a new denomination, you're like, oh, you've just become this, ding, and it lights up. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> I have no idea what that means. But anyway, so I was like, okay, another one. I was like, yes! Okay, so I'm raising money, raising money, getting more people involved. We had a huge team. It was so exciting. Jay's new position, and I look at Jay, and I'm like, okay, so where are we? Are we doing good? Are we raising a lot of money? Am I, am I, am I doing what I'm supposed to do? There's no, there's, it's not about doing what you're supposed to do. As long as you're raising money and you're making awareness, that's all that matters. Whether it's a penny, a nickel, a dollar, that's it. Because every dollar counts. Yep. So, we went ahead, we raised money, Team Smile with Shannon, rocked it, 
for the first year. We we're pretty excited. So I want you guys to do the same thing. So I want all of you to become a team leader. I want all of you to become a pace setter. And I want all of you to be able to like get those little icons, those little buttons on their sash. Most importantly, I really wanted to win the cape. I just wanted like a cape. I wanted to be like a superhero, like, woo! Yeah, I got a cape. Well, guess what? You two, this year, the it's United, like Y-O-U, and then United. And you can, if you, within August, 15th to September, August 1st to September 15th, right? I think it is. Um, you can, $25 donation, you get like a little headband or you can get a cape. So, I want you guys to join me in a little cape brigade for breast cancer. Um, it's really easy to do, honestly. Like you can just create a team for yourself, for your friends, for your family, whatever. You can also do it within a work organization. So if you happen to work in like a company or you have the ability to spread your worth and your love you know, within the community. I personally went ahead and took these little canisters. Anywhere, because I went into Jay and I was like, where's your warehouse? I want everything I could possibly get and I want to solicit everywhere. He's like, okay, take this and this, this. I was like, I took this, I took the signs, I took whatever to spread the word. So take these canisters, they're free. Go put them in any organization, whether you have restaurants. I put them in like three different restaurants. I put them in my girlfriend's hair salon. Anywhere, it's free, it costs you nothing. Like literally people, gas stations, you just change, go pick it up, donate, that's it. You can do like, I do Fun Pan Friday, so you could do like a dress down in your company, right? You could do a dress down, you make donations, do a dress down. Um, what else? I had, you can make a donation in honor of somebody, so if you know, if you personally are not affected, but you actually have somebody that in your family, you can make a donation in honor of them. Make that team name in honor of them. And you could also make those little, I know Ava makes those really cute little pins. You can make some and just like sell them or donate them. My daughter did a lemonade stand. Your kids could get really involved, which is a great way to like show them how to give back and donate. Um, if you're in fitness, you could do burpees for boobies because that's what I'm doing this year. Burpees for boobies because I love burpees. Um, just get creative, do really fun things. Um, at the end of the day, it's really just about raising awareness and raising money. Um, again, like I said, register and raise $25 and you can earn yourself a headband or a cape. Um, there's an app, it's so easy. Listen, there's an app. Let me ask you a question. First of all, who here has actually donated or joined a team? This year. So that means those of you that did not raise your hand have not donated or started or joined a team. Is that correct? We will. We will. We will. We have a team. Bosom buddies. We're all here. Your bosom buddies. I love it. Perfect. Listen. So American Cancer Society has made it really easy that there's an app you can download, and right from there you can like copy paste, solicit, email, whatever you want to do. That fundraising app. And you can hook it up to your Apple Pay, your Android Pay, or your PayPal. So there's no excuses. Just put it out there. Um, last year we had 136 teams. I want to get at least 200 this year. Is that fair enough? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, last year my team did $2,464. I want to make sure I get at least $3,000. I don't think that's off the record. Do you? No. Okay. So listen. All you have to do is come out, join the walk, join a team, support whoever you need to support in honor of somebody, whatever. Boobies are optional. Listen, you don't need boobs to do this walk, just so you know. Just come out, make your donations, share the love. We are here to support. And I just want to make sure you guys all download the app, make your donations, share the love, and spread the word. Really, that's what we're here for, right? Right. Yeah! Because yeah! yeah! we're not just promised tomorrow, we're only promised tonight, right? Can I get a woo woo? Don't forget the men can join, real men wear pink. <laughs> That's why I got my husband in.